Hi, and welcome. We are launching a spotlight today on galactic astrology. Today with founder Julia Balaz, who has created this incredible calculator that can tell you online for free where your soul journey has been and the galactic connections. But the point of today right now is to celebrate our first galactic astrology soul reading practitioner, Crystal. Yay! <laughs> Welcome, Crystal. Hi, thank you so much. I've been waiting for this morning for a very many weeks. I feel like it's been a long time, but I'm really excited. Well, welcome, welcome, Crystal and Julia. We have a fascinating story to share today in this spotlight of galactic astrology. Now, many of you listening may be aware of Western astrology, Vedic astrology, and guess what? Thanks to Julia Balaz, who is based in Ireland, we have received through Julia incredible teachings on now galactic astrology. Where is your soul star family from? And Crystal um, is the first one through Julia's practitioner class, which just launched in 2022. But before that, Julia had launched How to Read Galactic Astrology. And Julia, do you remember when Crystal signed up for that very first course with you? Yes, thank you. So I believe I launched the first course called Starseeds Astrology, which is designed to help people read charts or understand charts for themselves. That was in August, early August, and Crystal was one of the first students. She actually signed up on a very auspicious date, 8th of August, 8-8, and breezed through that course. And the moment I released the cert uh, practitioner certification course, she was one of the very first students and now very first one as well that got certified. So I was so excited to see her announcement that she fulfilled the requirements with flying colors, I was emotional reading her reports for her practice clients and most of all their feedback as well. You know, when I see my work validated through other people as well, it's invaluable. It's like these things make sense to other people as well. And the effect that my work had to my clients in previous years, now I see it replicated as well with others. But not only that, it's taken to a whole other level. I'm seeing that these uh, wonderful new practitioners that are coming through, they are really taking the basics, the foundation that I'm teaching them and making it their own, creating just most incredible inner journeys and readings for other people with invaluable impact on their clients' lives. So I'm just absolutely honored to welcome Crystal and create this spotlight for her and hopefully for many more beautiful, wonderful practitioners in future. So yeah, it was August last year, 2021. And now with the new course, it took her five weeks to get through the certification process and receive her beautiful certificate. Amazing. Well, I think I was sharing with you earlier, Julia, that doesn't it feel like uh, as a mother, a founder, um, these this information that's been downloaded through you in these portals of light that crystal is kind of your first born in a certain way of, you know, all of this culminating into today's special moment of your first certified practitioner. How does that feel, Julia? It's wonderful. And I have to say, I have to also give credit to many people who were divinely guided through their own inner journeys. Like I'm sure crystal will share herself. She has been, guided to look at fixed stars even before she saw my course. And when I launched a course and started attracting these beautiful people who are into this, I realized that there were hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands of astrologers and astrologers that it's just their hobby. There are thousands of people who are guided to start looking at fixed stars because I believe we have come to a time on earth when we are meant to know more about our soul history. So I just happened to be the person that acted on the nudge 
to share because it's my thing. Whenever I learn something new, I have this incredible need to share it. So I channeled that desire to share to actually creating the courses. And as a result, I feel really blessed for attracting people that are into it. And we are just brainstorming together and taking it to a whole other level. So yeah, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I just happen to be the one that acted on that and created the course. Yeah. Well, I am very grateful that you did that. Thank you. On behalf of so many, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Crystal, we're going to pepper you with a few little questions, if you don't mind, just so that other people might learn from your journey and potentially get inspired to investigate a little bit more about, first of all, this free online calculator where anyone can go in and put in their natal information and get a report. And that information is at www.starseedsplural.astrology.com. Okay, so you ready, Crystal? Here's the first question. Okay, I'm ready. We want to know a little bit about your past, and then we'll go to the present and then the future. But for the past, tell us, what was that turning point in your life that brought you even into this pool of galactic light language of sorts? What brought you here? Well, I'll start at the beginning. 2020 was a very activating year for me on a quantum level. And I feel like I've been waiting for it and preparing for 2020 this entire lifetime. So I was teaching when the pandemic broke out and my school was closed down. Um, and that caused me to be laid off for a few weeks while everyone quarantined in their houses. And I was given a very clear message from my higher self that this time that I was laid off and forced to be home was intentional time taken out for me to be home. And that I was to take these days and meditate, um, be very mindful and reconnect my soul with the universe. And I didn't quite understand where this was all going. I just heard that one call, like you are to stay home during this time period and reconnect yourself, recenter yourself, meditate, put yourself in, back in the um, state of mind that you should be in. And so that's what I did. And I was really grateful for that time to be able to do that because I'd never really had that before. So that was important. During one of my meditations, one of those afternoons, I heard the term starseed come to me. And I didn't know what that was. So I went online and I searched it up. And all of the information that was found was really wishy-washy and kind of vague. So I didn't feel like I was really getting very many answers about what starseeds were and it was like just a lot of information that I didn't know how to condense down in a way that I can understand it. So the universe ended up putting me on the path of finding an Akashic reader. And I found her through the spiritual community around Portland. And I felt specifically pulled to ask her to read what my connections were with the star races. And that was really a starting point for me because she used in our conversation in my reading she used a lot of code words and key phrases that started activating and unlocking my subconscious soul memories I didn't even realize at the time that she was doing this until later um, oh, I have goosebumps. It was a really phenomenal experience that I was led to have. It was like flipping an on switch to my past lives and starting to return to understand who I truly am and the journey that I've been on throughout the entire expanse of time and space. So from that activating reading, I slowly began walking back through my own soul history and remembering lifetimes I've had reuniting with core aspects of them one at a time uh, 
seeing the hard lessons that I've learned as I moved through those lifetimes and being able to see now from this perspective as Crystal, how I have evolved and grown from the accumulation of my experiences, even though a lot of them are very difficult to have moved through. So then part of my reawakening through all of those um, amazing moments that were very profound for me in this journey, they all started to bring me back around to one of my ancient rules, which is being known for providing others with keys and tools that they need to reclaim their truth and remember who they are when they feel lost in their avatars. And so I really started to recognize inside myself that soul history is a really important thing for anyone to be able to access about themselves and that these aren't things that are really normally talked about <laughs> right now. So I definitely felt the awakening of starting to expand and bring this conversation back to life. But I just really felt like I was just having it by myself, having all of these um, awakenings and things um, alone. But I wanted to be able to learn these things and be able to start sharing them with other people because it is so important. And I started having dreams of geometrical patterns. I had a strange dream about the bloodline of Heracles and this, um, I don't even know how to explain it. It was really phenomenal. Just lots of downloads through my sleep started coming. So my whole thing started from, I guess, meditating, hearing the term starseed come to me. And it was almost like this intentional forward motion that I was just kind of led into, I suppose. And then I found myself eventually at this turning point where I had all of these puzzle pieces of incredible cosmic information <laughs> And then finding Julia's Starseed Astrology course was the key, I guess, that I'd been waiting for to really be able to start unlocking all of these things. And I guess I'd just been waiting for Julia so that I could start in this lifetime. I did not realize that I was one of the first people to sign up for her courses. I signed up as soon as I found them. So it was almost like um, I can see how even on her path, this was like, such a kismet kind of thing that came together and now we're moving forward together and I it just it's pretty mind-blowing but yeah I guess that's the journey of how I found her calculator and the courses oh <laughs> I saw you cheering up Julia do you want oh. to see any comments Life is magical. This is welcome to our reality. <laughs> this is how it works. Yes. You know, when people can talk about the theoretical aspect of star seeds awakening or ascension, but your story that you just shared is like you're the living embodiment of moving into a place of trusting synchronicities, trusting that, you know, there's the normal life outside, but you are so honest to your own navigational inclinations. And so going from one monkey bar to the next to, to meet Julia was not, didn't feel like it was your mind saying, now I do this, now I do that. Instead, it just felt your heart was like a big compass. And now you, if you don't mind my saying, Crystal, you're not in Ireland. You're not in the UK. You're based in like um, a Western side of the United States, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the Portland area between right on the border between Washington and Oregon. So look at the silver lining. Okay. During the shutdown, silver lining, you used it to give yourself more time. Silver lining of social media. We get to meet people from all around the world. And I thought that I was pretty much 
um, aware of many of the conversations around current astrology, but in Julia's courses, her beginning, you know, the astrology or the beginning class, she shares links that I've never heard of. So when we move into different continents, we're bringing these other links that could help with the broader global dialogue. So I don't want to digress too much from what you just shared with us, this idea that you kept saying yes and trusting. It felt so important to me. I couldn't really explain why, but it was almost this curiosity that sparked this fire, this drive, this passion. And it's brought me here. And I can't wait to see where we all go next together. I feel like all of us that are in the class, all of the people who are coming, that this is all very intentional. Um, we divine wow. phases, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to let my double Virgo ground us in now. Let's get practical with the present time. So in the practitioner's class, and Julia spends a great deal of time at the beginning talking about how to launch a business with the practitioner's material. Would you like to share anything about her business information, Crystal, with how maybe you can work from home and maybe create a, a, a conscious business working with this material? Well, uh, a couple of things really stood out. Um, if I may share from the business module in her course that has really helped me understand the story of my clients' readings. And so when I am getting to work from home, which is wonderful because I can do my calculations and my readings from really anywhere <laughs> as long as I have access to the chart. So it's been wonderful, but she has given us in the, um, one of the business modules, the most genius tool that goes through the process that we can gather all of the information we could need about a soul's entire journey through dowsing charts that she created. And that has been such a game changer for me, having these charts all laid out. They let us tap into things like which densities and dimensions the soul has moved through, which galactic races and spirit guides the soul is connected with, which places they've lived in, um, how much karma they're here to transmute and release. So when I'm applying these dowsing charts to my readings, it opens up a whole new level of questions that I might not have even considered asking otherwise. And Julie actually in this part of the course gives us step-by-step -step questions to ask in the dowsing charts to really start getting the information for what the soul has moved through from its most very ancient beginnings as it split from source into where it is now. Um, and you can, find all of these lists of questions in the course and you can um, find the answers through different modes like pendulum dowsing and another one that she gives us a little bit of information on and teaches us about is muscle testing and so that's also a tool that I've been able to use from anywhere even if I'm not doing readings I didn't know about the muscle testing thing before but that was something that I learned about in the course that has been really neat. I even started teaching it to my children and started going through some of the parts of the course um, about like the frequencies of truth and how to recognize them and sharing some of those things with my children so that maybe they can start integrating that knowledge just in their everyday lives. So even just the basic foundations of being able to learn how to accurately as possible read these alignments and these interpretations, the dowsing charts has been a wonderful tool. The muscle testing has been a wonderful tool. Um, another treasure of information that she teaches in the course is the entirety of module six. <laughs> really the entire course is dripping with powerful information about so many things, but 
Module 6 is a favorite of mine because it covers all of the galactic astrology chart interpretation lessons. Um, let me think. There's one more that was really important. It was specifically about the business. Oh, it was the, it's an exercise where we address self-sabotaging beliefs regarding our own business venture. So an example of one of my limiting self-sabotage <laughs> beliefs that I had written down was that I wouldn't be supported to kind of um, make this business more public, make what I do, the work that I'm doing more public because I was afraid that maybe I wouldn't be very well respected because it's kind of a less conventional topic. It's more of a controversial belief. So I was a little nervous that maybe I might be viewed by my peers as like a conspiracy theorist or just, you know, not taken very seriously. So that was a limiting belief that I realized I was having. And so it wasn't easy for me to share what I was learning out loud with anyone around me because it was really hard for me to move through what their opinions about it might be. So to counter that in her exercise, I began to tell myself every day, remind myself that there are many people around me who are ready to hear about this expansive subject and have already begun to recognize these truths within themselves and are ready to expand their awareness. And so those who are meant to find me and hear the information that I can share with them um, will find me. And from this exercise, I have very excitedly found that I was able to start stepping out of my comfort zone and share, just being brave and sharing more on my um, social media. My public platform was a way that I could start teaching this information and feel less self-conscious, less worried about what anyone would take from it that it wasn't meant for. And I found that I've actually been extremely supported and a lot of people have even started to take interest and started to unlock these things within themselves. So that was a really important part of um, starting to set up my readings and being able to, to feel like I could do this out loud, if that makes sense. Did that answer your question? <laughs> wow, so beautiful. What do you think, Julia? Isn't that just incredible? Super well done. That's just amazing transformation and such a diligence in working through what needs to be seen, looking at the shadow, and then the rewards are just magical. So I'm so happy, so proud of you and everyone else who's doing this. Yeah. If I can show another piece um, from your business module that was really helpful for me, it was about hiring your universal marketing team. So this part of the course teaches you to consciously recognize and consider that you are not doing this work on your own. <laughs> you have a higher self and even a whole galactic team of guides and channels that you can activate and actively work beside. Oh, I have goosebumps. Um, so going through that part of the course really changed my perspective from feeling like I had really little to no control over the progression of where all of this was going and how things went every day. And it expanded my awareness back to remembering that I am in control. And one of the examples that Julia gives in this lesson is like, Remembering that if you do need to go on a holiday, to take some time to yourself, or you're feeling overwhelmed, you can communicate that directly to the universe, and then you'll stop receiving those business inquiries or things will kind of slow down in a way that you feel more in control and at, at peace and aligned with what's going on. And when you're ready to come back, you just communicate that and you, you know, manifest using her exercises, what exactly you hope to gain. And it is so helpful, so beautiful, so well-written, so easy to understand. So 
I recommend everyone go through all of the exercises in the business building module because it isn't just things that you would maybe go to college and learn for. It's inside. It's learning on a soul level who you are, the kind of business that I want to run in the future and the steps that I can take to get there, um, breathing exercises to help me expand and connect these things. Beautiful. So <laughs> Wow. Um, so I'd like to just make a couple comments that are very practical. One, I have taken many classes, some from fabulous institutions, but they're time limited. So this one, you can only have 12 months and then you're gone. Um, or you have to pay more money to, to, to extend. So this course that all, all of Julia's classes, you get lifetime access and the material is not static. It is like constantly being upgraded as new material comes in. Like starseedsteachable.com is like a living entity of its own. So if you hear the call, you've got a place to come and engage at all levels. And for those of you who've already studied astrology and think you know the kitchen sink, um, there's more. There's so much more because as Crystal said, there are these downloads that come in and keys that activate. And then suddenly, my gosh, the next level of expansion, there's more. So what you'll find in the program is one, your soul family, if you decide to come and join the chat room. Secondly, you're going to find like, a wide variety that we've heard from Crystal. It's not just set up a business. No, it's, it's working on consciousness and an Aquarian kind of model for how to show up differently to work in groups, to help each other kind of all, all develop and feel strong in your inner being. And so it's what I thought I heard you say, Crystal, in my own words was, you found a way to get out of your own way when it came to judgment. So star seeds, when those keys and activation points go off, it's like you're here on mission, <laughs> ready to show up and be on mission. So it's like, well, let that light shine. Don't put it under the bushel like I've done for years. But it was like, okay, Grace, it's time now. Step into the water and start, you know, because like the woman who you met, Crystal, that gave you that very first inspired um, you know, activation. Now you've become that woman to then start seeding and sharing your light. And that's what I feel. We talked yeah. about the business model, but it's much more than a business model. It, it's a very comprehensive program that I, I look at it as almost like a living, living being, Julia. Thank you. That means a lot. Had no idea we were going to go there in this conversation, <laughs> but I love it. Um, star seeds are awakening. Okay, um, let's get going. It's not conspiracy. This is about love and compassionate action. Once you know who you are and why you're here, it's like, huh. And then you have proof. If you need proof, like I need proof. Okay, well, here's your star journey. You want to play this game, Julia? You want to? If I may just add that these spontaneous activation stories that an example is Crystal, I've heard these for years through QHHD and solar alignment sessions that I was facilitating before this happened. It really is happening worldwide. The awakening, the ascension, it really is happening. It's just people... Don't really talk about it. It's people that you meet randomly at, in the shop or post office or wherever. It you know you don't really have these cosmic conversations, but it's happening to the people that you would never expect. It's happening to them, but actually they're going through major <laughs> upgrades and downloads and expansion. It's we are collectively awakening to multidimensional quantum awareness. It's so exciting to me to witness. I know goosebumps when you say that. Happening. Well, I'm going to ask Crystal one, one more fun thing. So Crystal, for those who might be listening that are a little apprehensive of the judgment or how do I tell my family uh, and I want to set up this business, can you share, because if we get out of our way and just imagine our client or the person coming toward us that could use a little boost, 
Is there a particular story um, that you that comes to your heart where you you just felt like, wow, this is why I'm doing all of this? Does something come to mind in particular? Um, really, it's not so much a moment, but something that Julia mentioned earlier, seeing her work validated through other people, that has been so reaffirming when I start to be able to read these alignments and um, start accessing the stories of people's soul history, and then I can deliver that back to them, seeing that validation and that confirmation within them, those feelings that well up, because now they don't feel crazy anymore. They don't feel alone. Um, you know, someone believes them, someone can validate, and even like you were saying, show them on the chart. Here's where your fixed stars are in a tangible way that you can see it. And that is why that's my reward for doing this is really being able to help unlock those pieces so that someone else can start activating and remembering what's been going on with them and why they're here. That's everything to me. That is so exciting for me. Every time I have a new person's chart in front of me, and I start to see where the conjunctions and oppositions are in their chart and the relationships that they've had and the painting of their story starts to unfold in front of me and I get to deliver this back to them. That's so exciting. And I know that it's going to be like a really uplifting moment for them when they get their reading back and they can read and see which parts resonate with them, which things maybe they didn't remember and then they have those memories start to come back. That's so wonderful. It's so, oh, more goosebumps. <laughs> it's life-changing. Yeah. Wow. Well, Julie, I'd like to turn it back over to you. I think you wanted to say something about fixed stars. Does that um, feel comfortable for you? Here he is to hear from Crystal. What was it like for you? Do you remember when you first saw your fixed stars alignments, your report through Star Seeds Astrology and is there any constellation or fixed star that really meant so much to you to see it there and validate something for you? Are any of them there in your report that stand out for you as valuable? Um, yes, I would say yes to that. I'll leave you I, on. <laughs> um, I have had an interesting journey. So the pieces of my history started coming back to me before, prior to me finding a calculator that Hector made and being able to see how it was all laid out in front of me in alignment with the fixed stars and what those pieces meant. So I was already kind of going into looking at my alignments with a knowing of what I was looking for, but really trying to figure out which of those star connections was in relation and connecting to the truths that I knew about myself. So one of the big things that I was moving through at the time that I found the calculator was my past or parallel, if you will, history with the Anunnaki. I knew about myself that I had fallen. It was, it was more like a mission to integrate myself with that collective and go through the process. So I knew this about myself, but I was also working through a lot of these dark shadow aspects that went along with it. And these negative aspects that I started with in my beginnings um, within the Anunnaki and coming to the calculator to try to find where that was in my chart. And then I find that my very first, um, let me pull my chart up really quickly so there. I can. Exactly Sounds like the light worker I'm... undercover. Sounds like one of the undercover missions I've came across. That's exactly, it's that's fascinating. exactly right. Yeah. Um, so I, one thing that I'll um, also note is I didn't know my time of birth until very, very recently. And it was total mystery to me. And my entire life, my favorite number has been 19. And through my spiritual journey, my 
other favorite number that I've really connected to is 11. So 11 and 19 mean a lot to me. They're very significant. And I found out that I was born at 11, 19 in the morning. Of course. <laughs> and then when I, um, when I went into my calculations, I noticed that my Chiron was in Gemini at 11, 19. And that was so significant for me because the alignments with Chiron are between Aldebaran and Antares. So I know that this was something that I moved through that was very traumatic for me. And then um, my alignment with my Saturn is my very first conjunction in my chart isn't until Saturn, which kind of shows a progression that I was kind of off doing other things. And then in my alignment with Saturn comes in and my first conjunction is with Antares. And so this kind of gave me some clues of where I could start um, digging into about different galactic races and how those connected with me. So that was really prominent information for me at the time because I was moving through those aspects and trying to really let go of the things that I'd moved through and those kind of shadow parts of myself and be able to stand in a place where I can see all of this growth that I've evolved with and moved through and be able to look and see these connections and find those places in my chart. That was very exciting for me. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so exciting. I feel so blessed. Well done. Um, if I could just make a, um, a final comment, it would be if anyone is listening and you think oh, already knows astrology, I don't know if I need galactic astrology. I would say this type of teaching in starseedsteachable.com offers all types of material. It's like Julia brought her A game. So as Crystal mentioned, you've got dowsing, you've got charts, you've got stars, fixed stars, putting stars back into astrology. You've got um, how to set up a business that can thrive. You, you've got so much here. It's quite a comprehensive curriculum. And of course, we'd always encourage you start with the calculator. And then if you're interested in reading your own calculator, start with the basic galactic astrology course. And then if you feel compelled to then maybe be a practitioner, either for your family and friends or even as a business, there, there's a variety of, of programs for you to consider. So Crystal, is there any final comment or things you'd like to share with our, our viewers? I would. I want to, um, I guess, leave on a note that I'd signed up for these courses with a hunger for knowledge about all of these things. And I was not <laughs> disappointed. My experience taking these courses was really everything that I had been waiting for in order to expand my understandings and connect with others that have an interest in this field. That was huge for me. When I um, started learning about star seeds and galactic races, I found that it was really difficult to find solid information about these topics that I wanted to learn about. And so I felt lost reaching for pieces of the puzzle without a guide. So I, um, like I mentioned, I signed up for the course as soon as I found it. And I had a direct source to learn all of these things from now. And so it was really wonderful because before, in my house, I'd had research papers and notes about galactic history and charts everywhere and things all around my home. But now that I found Julia's course, it was like I was able to learn these things in an organized way. Um, when the information, like really everything, even still now I can go back and refer to all of the modules because I have unlimited access to this information. So anytime I'm in a reading and I need to remind myself, have a refresher of any part, I can just go back and um, look into it. So there is invaluable wisdom in this course. And the Galactic Astrology course 
is a really beautiful foundational way to start learning the basics of how to interpret your charts. And the certification course really expands even deeper on each subject. And it really walked me through the step-by-step -step process of exactly how Julia does her own readings. She even provides charts so that you can follow along with her exactly how she's interpreting with the chart in front of you and how to fill in gaps by being able to tap into someone's Akashic soul records. So this entire certification course really dove me so deeply into understanding every single subject and then having the class that I can expand my knowledge with that we meet each week has been such a fundamental, powerful, important part of this entire journey for me. It changed everything. It's so, so much. That, that means. Wow. I can see why Crystal was your first student in <laughs> the first one to be certified. Can you feel the jets inside her? <laughs> Bring me more. <laughs> You're going to use it for good. You're going to be using it all for good. Wonderful. Such an honor. Well done. I'm so, so proud of you, Crystal. I cannot wait for clients to be divinely guided to you and you'll be such a blessing for them on their journey. Like it's without a doubt, I can say that. So many blessings coming your way and whoever will choose to let you read their soul records. I've seen some of those sample char uh, practice clients charts and I was inspired. I was in awe. So by yeah. all means, if you feel in resonance with Crystal's energy, she's your gal. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, thank you, ladies. It's just been so wonderful. And we'll list Crystal's contact information for anyone listening that would like to receive a reading with Crystal. And we'll also make sure you know all of Julia's classes on starseedsteachable.com. But for now, thank you. And we hope to see you again soon. <laughs>